I want to bring in Republican Senator John Hoven of North Dakota. Senator, earlier I saw where you posted a message that the United States must work closely with our allies to oppose Putin's effort to subvert European peace and security. We must ensure Putin pays a heavy price, not only as a response to his aggression in Ukraine, but also as a deterrent against future aggression in Eastern Europe. The question is, how do we do that? Well, I think we need to impose uh, all the sanctions we can, and, and that's what we're not doing yet. Uh, for example, the SWIFT payment system, why are we not imposing that sanction? And I understand that Europe is concerned about getting energy, but that's just the point, isn't it? We can't be sanctioning Russia while at the same time they're trying to buy energy from Russia. So, again, we need to impose those sanctions, cut Russia off from the uh, banking system so they can't get paid for their energy, and then we need to work with our allies and uh, provide that energy to Europe so they can stand strong with us, united, and not just Europe, but all of our allies, and isolate Russia. You know, in, in an article in Forbes just last January, there was a headline that says, Biden opens new front in his war on U.S. oil and gas. Now, the very last sentence in that article said, all of this, and we're only eight days into this presidency, just 1,453 more to go. Of course, I bring this up because the, the pain has gotten a lot worse since that January article. Is there even a slight chance in your mind and from what you know and the inner workings of the White House and, and D.C. That, that the, the administration can make an about face? Because just moments ago, I heard the president of the United States, States say he's going to do everything in my power to limit pain Americans are feeling at the gas pump. We're sure going to push for it. We have been pushing for it. And I don't know how you could have a more dramatic example of why we need to do it, not just in terms of what you talked about, the price that people are paying here at home at the pump, already $3.50 a gallon nationally going up. But look at the geopolitical ramifications. We need to be producing this energy. We need to be supplying this energy. We need to be cutting Russia off. That means the Biden administration changing its approach and allowing us to produce energy as, as we had been doing under the Trump administration and working with the European Union so that we're supplying them with energy, right. not Russia. Right. And of course, and it's not just energy, right, Senator? Uh, in 1874, Russian Mennonite immigrants, uh, ironically, introduced turkey red wheat to Kansas. There was a series of events after that, but it did cement winter wheat into the history books. And that really helped position America as the breadbasket of the world. We keep hearing about Ukrainian wheat maybe coming off the market. Is that an opportunity for us to come to the rescue, help our European allies and others uh, with respect to what we can do? Well, you're talking to somebody from the right state, North Dakota, the largest wheat producing state in the nation. Ukraine, as you say, long referred to as the breadbasket of Europe. Uh, big wheat producing state. We're very similar in terms of our climate, our ag production. Absolutely, we can provide the food supply as well. So again, let's go. Let's. This is what leadership is all about. That's what the Biden administration needs to do here. Not only enact the right policies, the right sanctions on behalf of the United States, but we've got to get the world community together here and isolate Russia in all these ways to get them to stop. Senator Hoven, I really appreciate your time today. A very difficult uh, day, very busy for you, I'm sure. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Charles. So the